in the meantime, let's go back to the slide and talk about what next with the Vue.js while it is installing our project. So, for instance, now I'm going to look at a view instance structure in the life cycle. You know, each view instance, when you initialize the project for and then you add a script to the page, what is going to happen is you have to create an instance of the view that you have included in your page. And so when you do use a new view, then you put all options within this. It accepts the arguments, so you put them in the parameter space here. And so that is going to be in instantiated and accessed globally uh, when this view instance is run. Now, once you use the new view, and then this is what is going to happen. It initializes events and then lifecycle hosts. And then these lifecycle hosts are the ones that are in the red. And so you have before created, even the ones that I want, want you to uh, look at is these life cycles. You have the before create, the created. So what is going to happen is after it is going through in its events and the life cycle, then you're going to have before create. Now before create will give you a chance so that you're able to add your code. It gives you the opportunity to add your own code at this stage so that anything that you want to, you want to execute will be executed when you get to this. So from here, it init and inject and then the reactivity stage. And then when it is done, it goes to the created. So the created life cycle hook, uh, this is when the, your page has been created. That is, a, the, that is when that instance has been created. So what is then going to happen here? He asks question, has L options? If it is not, then the view will be mounted. I know this looks so, something new, but what I want you to understand here is all these processes you may not actually see, but with this life cycle, you will be able to put in your code in there. So when you know when it is happening, then you'll be able to appreciate when you can add certain or uh, specific uh, codes at a certain point in the life cycle to be executed. And so, um, so we go here. And so it has template option. If you have a template option, if it is yes, then it will compile the template into render function. If it is no, then it will compile the AL auto template as template. So then you will get another life cycle hook, which is before mount. And you'll be able to do something there because it's about mount. And when it's going to mount, this is what happens. You create the v, uh, VL and then replace it with the L and replaces L with it. And then when it is done, then it mounts. So mounted is another life cycle hook that you can use. Let's see if it is done. Okay, it's still the one. Another life cycle that you can, the life cycle hook that you can enter your code. Usually, I use the mounted uh, to query data from the database. So when mounted, at this stage, you're going to see the page in the browser that's been mounted. So you will see the view. And so as soon as it loads, I want um, the data to be queried from the database or wherever uh, the data is and then present, be presented or perhaps assigned to a data or anything like that. So I use the mounted for such things. And so, um, and then move on to what has happened here is that uh, the V has been mounted. And so what is gonna happen is if there is any changes in the data, then the change in data is going to cause the DOM to be updated. But you have uh, another life cycle, hook, which is before update. So before update, if there is any code that you want to implement, then you can add it there. And then what happens is the virtual DOM re-render and patch. So if uh, you have, let's say, change the data, and then that uh, you have a directive, which is, let's say, VE, depending on the truthness of the value, that DOM might be taken off or it might present itself with a new or the data that has changed. And so when it is done doing that, then the view gets updated. And so you can have another lifecycle hook here where you can put in your code when that then has okay. Now, this is, and now when it is mounted, you have, uh, there's another thing that can happen. That is when the view get destroyed or when you navigate into another page or uh, you're moving away from the view which is uh, present into another uh, view. So when, during this point, what happened is that when the view destroyed is called, you have before destroyed. Maybe there is something you want to do. Perhaps if you're creating a game, before you destroy, you may want to save state or anything like that. You can do it here. And then what happens uh, then is the view is tiered down, tiered down watches, child components, and event listeners. And then, oh, uh, let's check. Okay, I think it is done. So then it is destroyed. And when it's finally destroyed, you have another life cycle hook, which is destroyed. Don't worry, this thing it looks like some bit of uh, new new to you but it is very simple once we start coding then you'll be able to understand